Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for joining me. We got Kevin Schroeder in the house here. He's got his new Gen 4 fly pod. Look at that baby over there. <laughs> Woo! You excited? Oh, yeah. I'm excited. And we, we haven't even started it up yet. We just stuck fuel in it for the first time. We got her assembled today. It looks a breeze, a little, a little breezy out here today. It's, uh, we got flags going straight out and whipping around. But what we're going to do is start him up here, get him going. We haven't, we just stuck fuel in it, so, and got her assembled. So what I usually do is when we get to the field, we just kind of let him tool around here and in the grass, kind of learn a little throttle control, get something done since we can't fly tonight. And uh, you don't mind sitting in that way? No, absolutely not. Glad it's to be here. comfortable, yes. We fell in love with this guy. He's been here a couple times now, and uh, last time he came in, we got the equipment. And anyways, uh, it's it's been a journey. And he's had some medical issues. Make sure you pray for him. And uh, thank you. Yeah, you guys out there that are that are that are saved and Christians, I appreciate you praying for him. He's got some medical issues he's struggling with. So, and uh, so we're just glad to have him back, and he's up and walking again. And, hey, uh, and a shout out to Jack Struthers. He would love Kevin. Kevin's got his American yeah. shirt on. He's dressing just like hey, Jack, Jack Struthers look does. At this guy. He doesn't Jack have the socks, have shirt, but he doesn't have the socks. Jack usually has a full attire. Jackie but boy, look at your makes this guy's me think got of Jack. Thing going. Jack yeah. always wears a flag. <laughs> Everybody goes. We love so him. So what we'll do is we'll just pull it over here. Keep you can keep it. You can keep going here a little bit. Okay. We'll splice these all together here. But when I have the luxury of uh, when you're starting this for the first time. Uh, obviously out in the field you're not going to have anything to put this against and this is a man's unit brother when you when you start to throttle up even for a warm-up it starts to push on you and uh, I can hold it back uh, pretty much I'm, I'm used to doing it and I'm over 200 pounds so it might just knock you over so it's best to do the warm-up if you have the luxury of having a vehicle or something to put the front tire against so you don't have to hold it back then you can take it up to full throttle and, and do all that and uh, uh, but we uh, we put it together we're just going to do a quickie uh, pre-flight as we put it together at the house already, everything's looking good. Oh, and look at uh, Joe Pendergrass put these on. Uh, Joe's now making, he, uh, in our other video, we did a thing. Uh, Joe's making these, uh, uh, Pendergrass Manufacturing is making these uh, custom things for the fly pod. But now he's got these. He's this adding little things so you can so this you can start mirror. customizing your fly pod. This is a gen, brand new Gen 4, but he's got these now. So instead of us putting the zip ties here for our line guides now, well, he did a really good job on these. So if you guys want to order those, uh, if you're a student of mine, you can go to the Flight Junkies Facebook, and Joe is the one that runs that Facebook, and you can order a set of these. That's a little nicer than putting a zip tie there, but they both work, but that's... Uh, that's good. Well, we feel like he's got his money. He just burns. <laughs> but anyways, uh, nice no, that's good here. stuff, and it's, it's really nice. Joe's making all sorts of other little accoutrement for this uh, for this baby later. So we've got her checked out. One thing we always do is check the throttle before we go. We want to hear that banging in the carburetor, and we'll just set that there where we can reach it. We've got the front wheel. We're going to turn the fuel on. And of course, you can see the fuel flowing already through the bowl right here. And we're going to put the choke on since we need to start getting fuel into a dry engine. And it hasn't been started yet. Usually on the third or fourth pull of Fresh Breeze starts, a 313cc motor. These other guys are winding out these little 180-something, and that's okay for foot launching. But, man, you want something with some guts on it, the monster, there's no equal. Here we go. Three pulls. One. Oh, we got it in two. I can shut that choke off now. our other guy that's coming in for training here we got three other ones coming tomorrow go ahead introduce Hello, yourself Sam Pose from Bradenton Florida what kind of business you run pan over give him a shout out oh, and yeah. tree and thanks your perfect palms tree and yard work <laughs> yeah nice. he shimmies up there nice. faster than those little guys from Venezuela he shoots right up the tree like a monkey cuts the branch I use Ladders. a ladder what a sissy he uses a ladder I thought here he was shimmying up there like them guys they walk right up the trees down in Venezuela yeah they crazy. literally grab him I watch him walk up they got yeah. a machete in their mouth whack 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 you yeah, don't do that huh no. he's All gonna right. use this PPG we're for the tall ones you wrong or something <laughs> 
but uh, we're going to get... Uh, then we got Benny here. Benny's here from Georgia. Yeah, Benny's over there. Can you say hi, Benny? Okay, so we're going to... Come on, get in it, and I'll start you up. Put your seatbelt out. Now listen, I don't want you going real fast. I don't know. Don't, like don't put your feet down. We never put no, our feet no, no, down. No. We come to a stop. The kill switch is on the top. Go ahead and sit in it. I'll yep. start you up. Yep. No quick turn. So just kind of feel the throttle. Uh, slow down before you make the turn and turn it around. So stay, stay right at 25 feet of the, uh, of the, of the, the concrete here, okay? Just, just like we did. Yeah, don't go on there. It's kind of bumpy out here. Just like we did in Ohio. We went up and down the field. Okay. All right. The, uh, up where's the... There you go. Now, is this, no one asked you a question. Is this the electric start? If you had electric start? If you had electric start, it's right here. Okay. I figured that's what that was. Yeah, I'm going to start you up. We'll, we'll play with starting it in the in the cockpit later, but I'm going to start you up. And just kind of tool around back and forth. Go down to the end and come on back and just tool around. Get used okay. to it. All right. All right. Don't put your feet down, okay? No, I'll I don't want you to bust your feet off. Just come to a stop. And the kill switch is there. You have to hold your finger on the button until it comes to a complete stop. Right. Otherwise, you can start right back up. Clear? All right. Have fun. We're really looking forward to getting him in the air. He's really had some medical issues that, well, I just feel terrible for him. And he's a good Christian guy, and uh, we love him. We love all these guys that come in, a bunch of knuckleheads. Uh, we get real attached to them while they're here for a week with us. I hate to see him go at the end of a training section, and then a whole new group of guys come in. But we look forward to the Flight Junkie reunions every year so they can come up to Ohio and fly with us. But uh, we'll let them tool around and get used to it, and then we'll, uh, we'll get him flying here. We'll try to splice these videos together. Get a lot of, get, get some of the action. Yep, check the trailer first. And if you don't get, you don't have to give it any gas. Stand right here. Your hand never goes up. All you want to do is check it and make sure you hear it bang off. And that's it. And the choke is on. Fuel is on. Here we go. that right down in the crotch of your arm right here. I'll show you why. Okay? When you put this on the inside and you're gonna and you're gonna start it from inside, you see how this you can turn your body now and this comes up over here. Like Otherwise yeah. yeah you see how if you if you left it on the outside of your arm yeah, you it would be get, around your rib cage. You wouldn't be able to reach that. Around. Okay so go ahead and grab that. Grab it with two hands. This is a man's unit. <laughs> and we'll see if you can start it with it. Nice going. Right. Now listen don't, don't put those feet down. I'm warning oh, yeah, yeah. Watch out for Kevin! We're down here by Daytona Speedway, and these guys, are, <laughs> they're getting ready to have a trike race. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> but uh, what do you think? It, it lifts out of that hole fast, don't it? Oh, it sure does. It sure does, yep. Yeah, there's, there's no lag. There's That's no definitely a monster motor. Yeah. It's, this is a man's unit. If you're ever thinking about doing tandem, this is the one for tandem. But listen, the, the motors are basically all the same price, and when you go with a trike, you can fly a bigger. You'd never be able to fly that motor. Uh, in fact, he'd have to fly our smallest motor if he was ever going to foot launch. But there's nothing to gain from foot launching except more expense, more time, more hassle, less safety. It's there's nothing about it. If you haven't seen my other video, trike versus foot launch, we get tri foot launchers in all the time, and I'll teach you how to foot launch. We teach every kind of teaching. But man, the trike is so much far more fun because you can do so much more with it. But it also allows you the ability to fly that big. 
313 cc man's unit and man i'll tell you what even if you never go with doing tandem when you get someday when he gets in an area where he's got just a tiny little field he'll climb like a homesick angel that thing will climb and climb and climb he won't have to circle the field 20 times to get above the tree line that thing has got the nuggets to get you there and get up the cloud base faster than everybody else and uh the monster uh not the moster there's one out there called the moster don't let him fool you there's no n in it it's a 185 cc one of the worst motors out there the most unreliable motor but all these manufacturers are using it uh because they give such a uh, a discount to the guys that are building that but they're garbage motors they're literally throwaway motors this thing has a, a thousand hour tbo my my personal unit seven years old haven't even rebuilt it this is where you go. Hearth has been making German aircraft motors since World War One, and boy, this one, this one is, this one's the one you want. But uh, was that fun? No, it was fun. Enjoy We're kind of wrapped tonight of the of the flying, but uh, it'll get you a little acclimated, get you fired up for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we're going to be out here and start putting this. Will be 1,508. This guy right here, he's going to do his first flight. So looking forward to it. Thanks for joining us, guys. Just thought. Let you see a little bit of video of what's going on out here at the field. Look forward to seeing you. Give us a call. Everything's on sale right now.